All right, so it's 20 minutes in to the mix, and we're going for our first stretching or folding, however you want to describe it. You need lots of flour on here. Uh, I did wind up adding more water. It was just a bit too stiff uh, for my liking. Uh, one of the interesting things about doing bread this way in the country with uh, you know, a wood heated house um, and uh, particularly for uh, sourdough breads whether you like it or not you get uh, a real sense of the weather uh, in particular and the changes of the season. So in the winter time everything is drier uh, and including your flour and all your other ingredients. So you have to adjust your recipes constantly. In the summertime it's moister, it's warmer, things work out uh, nicer and you can reduce your water content a little bit. Uh, plus, you have to consider, especially for flour that you're getting straight from a mill someplace, the water content is going to be different. Not by much, but it is actually noticeable, especially when you're doing things by hand. So, look at it. This is a pretty soupy mess right at the moment. This is just a cheap plastic scraper from the hardware store. And I find this works real handy for this initial stretch. All you're doing is pulling out all the dough and get into the center as well. Nothing fancy about this. Don't worry about it breaking apart. You want to try and avoid that if you can, but don't worry about it too much. Mm -hmm. And you just start pulling this all in like this. You can add a little bit more flour if you want. Now, it's going to be kind of difficult in this case because it is so loose, but what you want to try and do is gather it up into a ball and <laughs> try and get a little bit of uh, tension in the ball before you toss it back into the bucket. It really isn't going to work all that well at this stage. But uh, what you want is you want kind of a, uh, an elastic stretching force on the gluten at all times. And that encourages it to stretch out and develop. Uh, mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, don't worry about it too much. And if yours is even looser than this, don't panic. It'll get better, uh, and in this case you may wind up uh, pulling it in and then putting in a bunch more, or you could always move the bucket, if you can't get it uh, pulled off the, off the uh, table, you can put the bucket down here and just scrape it off into the bucket like that. As I said, this, this batch Shibata is very forgiving.
There we go. I'll scrape that down. Clean off my hands. Close it up. And I'll see you again in 20 minutes.